Hello friends, my name is Chinmay Deshpande. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about a first problem based on Newton's forward interpolation formula. Now, this is uh, the problem based on some electrical application. The total load of a power system is not constant, but it varies throughout a day and reaches a different peak value from one day to another. We know that it follows some particular hourly load cycle over a day. Now, uh, the diagram has been mentioned here and the time in the hours and the active power consumption by the load has been given at let's say 4 hours, uh, 0 hours, 4 hours, 8 hours, at the end of 12 hours, 16 hours and 20 hours. The power, active power which is to be consumed, it is mentioned here. If you see whatever statements here mentioned, uh, we, uh, it is not required, no need to think about that statement. What we have to use and what to be find out, we need to more concentrate on that. So here we have to use Newton's forward interpolation formula and we have to find it out what is the power consumption at the end of 3 hours. So if you see, here we have a data, let me take it as this will be your x0, x1, x2, x3, x4 and x5. This will be your corresponding y0, y1, y2, y3, y4 and the y5. Now as it is clearly mentioned in the numerical, we have to use uh, Newton's forward interpolation. So we will first prepare a table of Newton's or we will prepare a table of forward difference. Now why to use Newton's forward? Because he, we have to find it out what is the power P when time in R is 3 which will be situated at initial or beginning of a table. So, uh, what, to be, uh, what to be find it out here? So, I can write it as active power P in megawatt, active power P in megawatt at the end of, at the end of 3 hours, we have to find it out this. So, x will be equal to here 3. So, how to construct? So, we will construct here forward difference table. So, construct forward difference table. So, let me put all the values here so that I can construct this forward difference table. So, x and y. What we have values? First is 0 then 4, 8, 12, after that 16 and 20. So we have these values. Then let me write its corresponding y, that is here you can say active power consumption. So it will be 900, then 1200, 1450, 1700, 1300 and 1000. So, let me now complete this uh, table, it will be what del y, so you know how to find it out, del y0 will be equal to second value minus first value, so it will be your answer is 300, del y1 will be equal to 1450 minus 1200, so it will be your 250, after that del y2 will be equal to 1700 minus 1450, it will be again, you will get this answer as a 250. Then del of y3 will be equal to 1300 minus 1700, it will be minus 400. And del of y4 will be equal to minus 300. Now let me complete the remaining table here. So Next will be del square y. So del square y0 will be equal to what? 250 minus 300. So it will be your minus 50. Then this will be del square of y1 will be 250 minus 250 is 0. Then del square y2 will be equal to minus 400 minus 250. So it will be minus 650. Then del square of y3 is minus 300 minus of minus 400, so it will be your plus 100. Next, again we have to complete for del cube of y. So here you will get del cube of y0 equal to 
zero minus of minus fifty, so it will be plus fifty. Then del cube of y one will be equal to minus six fifty, and del cube of y two will be equal to seven uh, fifty because hundred minus of minus six fifty we have to do. Then next column will be here. Let me reduce the size here. Uh, next column will be del raise to four y. So it will be what del raise to four y zero is minus six fifty minus fifty. So it will be minus seven hundred. Then del raise to four y one is seven fifty minus of minus six fifty. So it will be one four zero zero. It will be one four zero zero. And the last is nothing but del raise to five y. So it will be del raise to five y zero is one four zero zero minus of minus seven hundred. So it will be two one zero zero. So as we are talking about here, uh, what we can say a forward difference table. So which values we will be required in a formula? We will be required now. This is your x zero. So we will require this y zero. Then this del y zero, del square y zero, del cube y zero, del raised to four y zero, and next will be del raised to five y zero. So for preparing this table, you will have some marks. Now let me write a formula. So what is the formula of Newton's forward interpolation? It will be y equal to y zero plus p into delta y zero. Plus p into p minus one upon two factorial delta square y zero plus p into p minus one p minus two upon three factorial delta q of y zero plus p into p minus one p minus two p minus three delta is to four y zero divided by four factorial plus P into P minus one, P minus two, P minus three, and P minus four. Delta is to four y five whole divided by five factorial. Where this P is equal to what x minus x zero upon h. X is nothing but the active power in megawatt at the end of three hours. So it will be three. X zero is nothing but your first value is zero. H is nothing but what? It will be your x1 minus x0. So you will get this as a 4. So you will have this value of p as 0.75. So let me put all the values here. So what you will get? Y0 is 900 plus 0.75 into 300 plus 0.75 into bracket 0.75 minus 1 upon 2 factorial is 2 into Minus 50, so this will be your del square y0 plus 0.75 into bracket 0.75 minus 1, 0.75 minus 2, whole divided by 3 factorial is 6 into 50 plus 0.75 into bracket 0.75 minus 1, 0.75 minus 2, 0.75 minus 3. If you see it, uh, it will be four factorial. Four factorial is nothing but your twenty-four into minus seven hundred plus point seventy-five into point seventy-five minus one, point seventy-five minus two, point seventy-five minus three, all divided by it will be one twenty into del raised to Five uh, y zero. It is two one zero zero. So if you solve it now, you have to solve it one by one. So you will get term as this will be nine hundred as it is. Here you will get two twenty five. This will be four point six eight seven eight five seven five zero plus one point nine five three one three plus fifteen point three eight zero eight six plus. Twenty nine point nine nine two six eight. So if you solve it, you will get one one seven seven point zero one four one six megawatt. So at the end of we can say 
at the end of 3 hours what what will be uh, the power generated so you can write it as uh, active power active power t equal to 1177.01416 megawatt at the end of at the end of 3 hours so this is the solution of this problem this problem might be asked in an examination for 6 or 7 marks so you have to write formula we have some marks for formula for making a table we have formula substituting values and finding the answer we will have some marks so thank you for watching this video if you have any doubt please feel free to ask any questions thank you once again